Welcome to Vanity's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be doing today is something a little special we've been wa wanting to do in a while. Today is a beautiful day so what we're going to do is a fish fry out on our outdoor grill. So if you're interested, let's get going. So welcome everybody to our, I guess, front yard on our front deck. We finally got a nice day here without rain and what I want to do I got air just put that down two nice fillets of cod I'm going to show you that I also got our cast iron pan put on the top of my grill and another cast iron flat pan for putting the fish over to when it's done I'm going to show you some of the things I'm going to be using so let's get started so here in Newfoundland and Labrador, we love our fresh cod. And I'm going to be frying this today with the skin on, beautiful fillets. And I got some salt, pepper, and onion powder that I'm grinding up nice here to put over it. Some flour to roll it in, milk, egg, a wet wash. And now I'll show you the rest. We're going to be using some chopped up fat pork to fry our fish in. We got some butter in cubes, onions chopped up, some, um, we got some potato and carrot that I'm going to be doing here in a pouch. We're going to get that ready here. But what we'll do first is get our fat pork frying. So I got my heat on eye and just, just to check the frying pan. You just put some water on your fingers and put over. I got some olive oil in there. I'm going to be putting in our fat pork and, of course, a nice cube of butter. I'm going to get that frying there now and we'll get back to our vegetables. So what I got here is a piece of parchment paper, a piece of foil wrap, a full medium onion. I just want to toss in there. I'm going to drain the water off of my vegetables just over my deck here. Nothing fancy because I don't need the water on there. Just toss that in there. And I'm going to be putting in there a nice two pieces of butter. And I'm going to also put over there a nice helping of that salt, pepper, and that onion powder. Now I got a lot of vegetables put in here. I'm got a, a helping air for about two to three people and of course you don't need all of that if you're only cooking for yourself or your husband and I want to put this in this pouch folding it over nice and tight to put on the grill something like this so I'm just going to tuck these vegetables in here on the back like this without burning and I'm going to check my fat pork because what we're going to do now, you could leave the fat in there from the fat pork. You can take it out. I like that flavor of all the mixed together. And you can leave the fat pork in there, of course, as well. So now, let's get those cod fillets ready. So I don't want these as, as big as this to go into my frying pan. Because what will happen, I will end up having too much there. So I'm just going to cut it like this. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some milk, probably a cup of milk. I'm going to put one egg tossed into there. Just whisk that around lightly just to make the wet, wet rub. And then we're going to put some seasonings into the dry ingredients. We're going to season both sides of the cod. And then we'll get dipping. Okay, so what we'll do, we're going to put the card into the wet rub and then into the flour. Now you can double this again, but I don't need a really big batter on here. I just need it just nice enough so when it's frying, it's going to give it that nice crispy crust on there. I'm just going to put some more seasonings on here. And now let's get those two in the frying pan. Okay, so I want to just roll those fat pork around. We're going to be putting the skin side up first. 
putting the meat side down. And now let that heal them up. I'm going to be putting another little bit of the seasoning, salt, pepper, and onion powder over the skin side because the other side is down. And what we're going to do here, we're going to let this fry without moving it for about five to seven minutes, depending on the heat in your pan. Evenly put the, the oil and the fat pork juice. And if you're not using the fat pork, oil and butter is enough. So what we're going to do now is flip over this piece. Just look at this. We're going to have the neighbors hungry here, Raymond, and they're going to be all mm -hmm. coming over to have some of this with us. We're just going to have to make enough. Just look. Isn't that ever delicious? We've been waiting to do this, to come out to do this big fry. So equally put some of that oil around there. Put another little bit of seasoning over the top. And now I'm going to transfer these over into my other cast iron pan and get the rest frying. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put it over to here, but I want to show you that. This is the skin part. Look at that, how delicious that is. I'm going to leave that one there for now. I'm going to take the other one over. And we want to put this there just to keep warm. I got the heat down on low. I want that to seal them up. And I'm going to put some more fat pork back into my frying pan and get the rest of that cod frying. Okay, so I just make sure that my fat pork is starting to go. I'm going to dip this cod here again. And that's again in the wet rub. In the wet rub. Then over into the dry, like that. And again, if you want it doubled up in, the, in this, you can. You can go back over in the wet. You can go over into the dry. You can do this on your stove top. You can do this on your outdoor grill with a cast iron pan. I don't recommend any other pan because uh, you don't want to break or burn it. Okay, so I'm going to equally season it. And then over into the grill. And with another little bit of butter, mix that around. Meat side down, as we want the skin side up. And the reason for that is you don't want your fish of whatever kind you're frying to fall apart. The skin keeps it together. We're going to season the skin part now because I'm going to flip it over. And if you can hear my neighbor, he's mowing his grass. He must have known that I was taping out here. There you go. And we're going to flip that over, and that is wonderful. I'm going to let that go for another four, five, to seven minutes. So what I'm going to do now is flip over these vegetables for a couple of minutes. You don't need this on there long, um, because, like you said, you can part cook your vegetables a little bit or just give them that nice little grilling inside. And that's it. Get this fish going. Let's have a little check on our vegetables. Oh my goodness, now that looks absolutely delicious. So what we're we're ready. We got our fish fish done, our cod, Atlantic cod. We got our vegetables. Now let's plate it off and I'm gonna have a little taste. Our fish, our codfish, Atlantic codfish is done. What I'm going to do now is scoop it off into my plate. And like I said before, have a little taste. So don't need to be very long unless you're frying a lot of cod, a lot of different fish. You can uh, have it going as long as you like. But let's get going on that. Okay, just look at those vegetables. Now you could have whatever kind of vegetables you like, of course. I'm going to take up a piece of this. And you can see the bottom. Just look at it nice and golden brown. I'm going to leave Raymond some. Trust oh. me. Please. If I yes. don't leave him, he's share, he's going to be sad. I'm going to take up a nice helping of those vegetables, onions, Fish. potatoes, and oh my goody. Now, what do you think? As good as it gets. We got this nice uh, crunchy fat pork, which we call it scrunchins. Then just look at this delicious flaked cod, Atlantic cod. Delish. This is so delicious. I'm going to have a little taste here now. It's tender, flaky. Mmm. A fish fry outside is absolutely delicious. 
Atlantic Cod fried outside on our outside grill. Two thumbs up by Bonita's Kitchen. Raymond, you're going to love this. I'm just waiting. I hope you've enjoyed our fish fryer today. I can't wait to finish this, and I know Raymond can't as well. If you enjoyed this episode today of our fish fry on the outdoor grill, the recipe is going to be right in under this video. And as well, the subscribe button is there. So don't forget to hit that one. Also, you can visit us on our website, www.bonitaskitchen.com, our Facebook page, or right here on YouTube. And you can see over 250 plus videos that we've done to date. So thank you for joining us here on Bonita's Kitchen today. From our kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day. Join us by the sea. A journey in culinary. Always an open door. Bonita's Kitchen to yours. Kitchen, 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 to yours.